to make this piece, all I'm going to do is just instantly recall the file, which happens to be in my recent file list. Open it up. This is what it's supposed to look like. What you see on the screen is the die lines are in black. Those are the cutouts. And then the colors are uh, indicated in the red areas. It's a vector file. This dialog box shows you the print or output order, which gives you the order in which your foils will be printing. The output here are the items. So we've got 10 in the top row, 10 in the bottom row. That's what will fit across the web. Although this is a tabletop printing system, you can see in our demo room here, we have designed a cart that we can transport the whole system on. Uh, it makes it very convenient to move it around the office and everything is mounted properly including a computer underneath the uh, printing system, keyboard, monitor, the printer, rewinders, and the cutter. Okay, now I'm going to load the Gerber FX printer with polycarbonate. One of the things about the Gerber FX uh, in the Gerber system is that it is sprocket fed. That is one of their claims to fame. Uh, the sprockets keep material registered color to color and color to cut. Uh, it's a really good registration system. Rarely does it ever go off track. I'm just going to tape the media down to a roll and then give it some tension on the rewinder and some reverse tension on the other rewinder on the other side. It is now ready to print. It tells me what ribbon I need to print with, in other words what color, what material I need to put in the printer which we already have loaded. It says it needs black. I'm going to take a black cartridge slide it in here, tell it to go ahead and print. So now it's laying down the black first. Okay, it's done printing the first color. When it's done, it just asks for the next color, which happens to be the dark green. In this case, it's called electric green. Cut the video a little short and skip to the next few colors in the succession of colors. Okay, it just asked me for the third color in the succession of colors, as shown up here. And I'm going to show you how this now rewinds when it's done with the third color. That is the mask that has been torn back from the polycarbonate. That's the protective mask. As you can see, the third color has been laid down. Now we're going to go to the yellow and then the flood coat of white. One thing that this printer can do well is it prints white very well. And we have three different choices of white depending on the opacity that you're looking for. On this job, before we cut the material, we are going to laminate it with a selective adhesive mask, with his, which is our unique 8 mil thick mask to keep adhesive from the areas that you don't want it to be, such as windows and push buttons. Uh, 
uh, in this case we're using uh, a full cut to cut out the perimeter and the actual pieces that are actually going to fall out and then I have another cut just for the mask for the selective adhesive okay the first thing we're going to do is load the material into the cutter and as you can see right here this uh, cutter has the same sprockets that the printer has therefore that ensures the proper alignment of the cut to the print you can see the tool right here which is the red cutting tool it has a micrometer on it so that you can dial out the exact amount of depth we have now sent the job to the cutter we're going to close the cover and hit start it is now cutting the mask we're done removing the unwanted area of the mask leaving the areas over the buttons and the windows as you can see as I'm panning across here you can see the mask that's over the black area and over the buttons we are now laminating a popular 3M pressure sensitive adhesive over the top of the mask but we're cutting through the adhesive, breaking the adhesive liner along the mask to make it easy to peel out the areas where we don't want adhesive. In the plot program in the Gerber software, we have full control by using rules by layer. We can set the speed, acceleration, force, and the cornering on any material and we can set it per layer and that's what we're about to do right now is the full perimeter cut the cutter is now cutting the buttons and the push throughs and also the perimeter cut with polycarbonate all you have to do is cut almost all the way through and the pieces will snap out. The finished product is pretty simple to pop out. Just fold it, pull them out, looking control panel.